So today I'm going to get you up and running with Commodore Amiga with Launchbox and of course we're going to be using RetroArch for this. Now we can go through a different method of using some standalone emulator, something like WinUAE, but I'm going to show you a really quick and efficient way of getting games up and running through Launchbox and also without the need of keep swapping discs over. I'm going to show you some video settings too, so check this one out. <laughs> Okay, if you like what you see in today's video, hit notifications and also subscribe. It gets you up to date content as I upload it. I also cover many front end systems such as Retrobat, Batacera. I even cover Raspberry Pi nowadays. So let's get into this. What I'm going to do first is just show you which files we need. So we got Kickstart files here. Now, some will refer to these as BIOS files, others might even refer to them as firmware. So I've got a whole pack just here what we're going to use for this and you can buy these over at Amiga Forever and if you need a more detailed description of which files you need for this I'm going to leave the link in my description and these are all the kickstart ROMs that you need for Amiga and this is the Libretro website so take a look at those and that's everything you need here just one thing make sure your naming conventions are exactly as they say under file name and that's exactly what i've done with mine they're named correctly so what we're going to do next is take a look at the games what i've got so whd load games are what i'm going to be using in this and these are in .lha file extension and these are pretty much all the discs in one compressed image and you don't need to swap discs over during gameplay which Amiga was known for with up to 20 discs in some case so these are all pretty much good to go so next thing I'm going to show you is how to actually import these and get these running with Launchbox and RetroArch so what I'm going to do is just go into Launchbox and if you don't have Launchbox I've got a comprehensive setup guys for the latest version in my playlists so what we're going to do first within Launchbox is just go over the tools and if I go to manage RetroArch download and install RetroArch and just give this a little bit of time and what this is going to do is download and install into our launchbox folder okay so retroarch was installed successfully and what i'm going to do now is just head over to the folder that's installed to so Normally, this is going to install into your C drive, and for me, it's gone under users and the name of my computer, and it's gone into Launchbox, as we can see. Now, RetroArch has installed into emulators, and as we see, here's RetroArch, and we got all of our folders here, everything's good to go. Now, whilst we're in this RetroArch folder, we need to open up the system folder, and within the system folder, we need to drag in these Kickstart ROMs or Kickstart BIOS files. So what I'm going to do is just Control in A, and I'm going to just drag and drop these into that system folder. And that's pretty much good to go. So next thing I'm going to do is just go into Launchbox again, go to Tools. And this time, I'm going to go to Import, ROM Files. And this is going to bring up the wizard. So wizard is just obviously an installation process, which many software applications uh, put you through. So I'm going to go to next. And next part is going to ask you to import files. So this is going to be our games. Now, my games are on my desktop in a folder. And what I'm going to do is go to add folder. I'm going to select desktop. And from here, I'm going to go to my WHD load folder, which is where my games are located. You can't see them in here, but they're actually in there. And I'm going to just go to select folder. I'm going to go to next. And what platform are you importing games for? So if I scroll this down, what I'm going to do is just scroll down until I get to Commodore Amiga. And here we go. So next, choose an emulator. So RetroArch, because we've just installed this one. And the core of this, if I pull this one down, this is going to list many 
RetroWatch cores. And the core I'm going to be using for this one is called PUAE. So there's two versions of this. Uh, the 2021 version actually means for lower powered systems. So I'm going to go for the PUAE Libretro and that's going to work fine. And I'm going to go to next. Now use the files in our current location. So what Launchbox is asking us for is do we want to relocate our games elsewhere on the computer? So if this is what you want, then just select one of the top two options. For me, I'm going to leave these on my desktop. So use the files in their current location. And we want to search for game information, uh, as it says, is recommended. And that's going to get us some artwork eventually and different information on our games. So press next. And this part is entirely up to you. This is going to download all the artwork for each one of our games that we're going to import. Now, for those using Big Box for the paid version, it's probably recommended you do download the majority of these. But if you're just using the free version of Launchbox like I am, I'm going to just suggest downloading the very minimum. Just for this setup guide, I'm going to select all and I'm going to go to next. Configure MU Movies. You can actually get preview videos for free, but you need to head over to the MU Movies website and then obviously enter your user ID and your password. And once you've done that, just press OK. I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to just press Next. And I'm going to press Next again for bezels because I don't really want bezels. And Next again. And right here at the end, it's ready to import my WHD load games. And as we can see, the file extension for these is .lha, and that's what we want. That's good stuff. So we're going to go to finish. And right now, it's going to be searching for metadata for different information on our games and also artwork. So be patient while this bit does this thing. Okay, and there we go. So that was a very quick process. So we got our gods game just here, and we also got Alien Free. And just let me remind you, if you're happy with the free version of Launchbox, you can actually change how your artwork appears, providing you downloaded different images. So to do this, if we just go to View, Image Group, and you can change different artwork that you downloaded. So for example, 3D Box is going to give us a 3D perspective. So anyway, let's go ahead and actually try one of our games. So I've got Gods here, which is absolute Amiga gem. I'm going to just go to Play. And this is now going to launch through RetroWatch using that PUAE core that we downloaded. So as we can see, that's running perfectly, and I'm using my PlayStation 3 6-axis wireless controller. So let's take a look at adding some new video settings with this. So what I'm going to do is just, yeah, go into Quick Menu, and from here, if I go into Core Options and go down to Video, if I scroll right to the bottom and go to Color Depth, I can put this one to millions, 24-bit, but it's saying that we need to restart, but this is going to give us a lot better colors. If and if we just go up to resolution, we can even change the resolution to super high, 1440 pixels. And if I come out of those settings and come back to main menu, if I go to settings just here and I go down to video and scaling, integer scaling, it's going to compress our image a little bit. But I personally think integer scaling looks really good on some games. And what I'm going to do next is go to aspect ratio and just make sure aspect ratio is in custom. I think this one looks best. And if I go down to bilinear filtering under the video, just turn this one on. 
another video filtering, we got lots of different options here for different filters, and we've even got scan lines. And I know that some people like scan lines. And as you can see in gameplay right now, there is a slight scan line. Okay, so always looking good, not bad at all. And what I'm going to tell you about right now is we can actually save our Amiga gameplay. So if we just go to the quick menu and go to save state, that's now a save state to slot zero, and you'll get many different slots to save your games into. I'm going to just play this for a little bit longer. And if I go back to quick menu, load state, we're back to where we just saved it from. Very cool stuff. So to exit your games, all we're going to do is just go to main menu and just quick retro arch and we are back here to launch box. Let's just check Alien 3. And as we can see, that one's working fine too. So what I always recommend when you're messing around with RetroWatch settings, just save your progress. So under main menu, go to configuration file and save com current configuration. And then we can back out of RetroWatch by quick RetroWatch. So that's it for my Launchbox RetroWatch and Amiga setup guys today. Like I said at the start, if you like the video, what you see today, do hit notifications and subscribe. It gets you the latest content as I upload it, and it also helps out my channel a great deal. Also, like the video if you liked it, and also be sure to check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and be sure to check out my new membership option if there's a specific video you're wanting me to do. I do this as part of one of the perks, but check that out, and just to remind you, that's under the next level option. But until next time, stay retro. Mm -hmm.